Welcome to Help Your Math. Today we are discussing unit conversions within household system and this topic will be very useful for students who are taking math for nursing. And for the, before we start to observe the problems that we will look at some conversions and we need to know that there is one pint in household system which is equivalent to the 16 ounce and one ounce that we normally use is six teaspoons or one ounce is two tablespoons. We also use at home a cup, which is the equivalent to eight ounces and one tablespoon equals to three teaspoons. So in this video, we are going to use our conversions between two pints and ounces using the ratio and proportion method. In order to start to use the proportion, we want to look at the conversion factor. Since we need to convert between pounds and ounces, we are going to use the first conversion factor, one pint equals 16 ounces. And we will write the first ratio, one pint to 16 ounces. This is the ratio that we received from conversion factor. Then the second ratio will be unknown ratio. And keep in mind that we need to start the numerator was the same units on the second ratio, so therefore we are going to write two pint and we will put x answers in the denominator. To solve proportion, we will find cross products. So the first product will be 1 times x, which is 1x, and 16 times 2. From here, we will find that x equals 32 and we will bring down the unit answers. So the answer will be 32 answers. Let's look at the second example. Example B is the conversion in the different in the opposite way, 48 answers. Let's find how many pints it will be. Again, we are going to use ratio and proportion method. And since the conversion is done between ounces and pints, again, we will use the first formula for the conversion. It's one pint equals 16 ounces. So let's start with the ounces on the top. 16 ounces. We will put over one pint. Please notice I'm using here the different order. It doesn't matter. But what is the most important, we have to keep the proportion or the second ratio for the proportion with the same units in the numerator and denominator. So since we started with these answers in the numerator and pint and denominator, we will continue the second ratio with the answers in the numerator. So 48 answers over x pints. And again, to continue so proportion, we will find the cross products. That will be 16 times x and 1 times 48. And after division by 16, we will find that the x equals 3. And we will check what would be the unit we needed to find. It was pint. So we already can answer that 48 answers equals 3 pints. In example number C, we will use conversion between 20 answers and a cup. So we need to figure out how many cups will make 20 answers. So again, we need to take a look at the units between we need to convert answers and cup. So what do we know about that? There are one cup equals and 8 answers. So we are going to use this conversion factor for the ratio proportion method. Our first ratio will be one cup over eight ounces. And then we are going to write the second ratio with the same units on the top. We can put here x cup over 20 ounces. So again, I bring your attention that we have the same units in the numerator for both ratios. Let's make cross product. It will be 8 times x, 8x, and 1 times 20, 20. And divide by 8. x equals, we can reduce this by 4. 8 divided by 4, 2. 20 divided by 4, 5. And then it's easy to figure out 5 divided by 2 
is 2.5 cup. 2 and a half cup. In the second example, we will convert, actually it's the fourth example, D, we will convert 4 and a half cup to tablespoon. If we will take at our table, there is no direct conversion between these two units, therefore there is one way to move from cup to ounces and then from ounces to tablespoons. However, you also may use the common sense because if one cup is eight ounces and each ounce has six teaspoons, that probably we need to multiply those numbers. But let's do step by step. So what we can do first step, we will convert four and a half cup to ounces using the uh, ratio between the cup and ounces. So we will start with one cup over eight ounces and we will write four and a half, which you can rewrite as 4.5 cups over x ounces. What we can do from now, we probably again need to multiply one times x, cross product will be the x, and eight times 4.5. So let's multiply it here aside. 4.5 times 8. 5 times 8 is 40. We will put 0 and carry 4. 8 times 4 32 plus 4 36. And we will move one place. So x equals 36 answers. Our second step would be conversion between answers and tablespoons. So where do we have the conversion factor here? It's one ounce equals two tablespoons. And we are going to use here the ratio one ounce divided by two tablespoons equals we have 36 ounce. That was the result from our step one and we will put over x tablespoons. All the time check your units if they are in the right places. Answers over the tablespoons, answers over tablespoons. Perform cross multiplication. One ounce times x will be x and two times 36 so our x will be 72 and that will be tablespoon. We will put the final answer 72 tablespoon.